main topic today. And our third main topic today is this. So SAG Awards just happened. And, you know, know, obviously obviously big winner, everything everywhere all at once. We'll talk more about that here in a minute. But one thing I did want to talk about, one big winner coming out of the SAG Awards is Brendan Fraser. None other than our boy. Um, I'm going to call him, uh, you know, I grew up on Brendan Fraser, Mummy Movies, and uh, Monkey Bone is probably my favorite uh, Brendan Fraser movie. But in the category of for outstanding performance by a male actor in a leading role. So this is basically the equivalent of best actor for the Academy Award. Um, the, The nominations or the nominees were... As follows, Austin Butler for the movie Elvis, mm-hmm. Colin Farrell for the Banshees of Insurin, Brendan Fraser, of course, your winner for The Whale, Bill Nye for Living, and Adam Sandler for Hustle. First of all, I just want to shout out the SAG Awards for nominating Adam Sandler for, for Hustle. That movie was great and very <laughs> unexpected and does not it has not gotten enough of, of the uh, whatever it deserves. It deserves way more than this um uh, uh, sadly, sadly for me, me i have not had a chance to see the well so i cannot say if brendan fraser deserves this over um the rest of these guys uh you know honestly the only thing i've seen on this list it looks like is hustle so i'll never watch elvis that's for sure the banshees of insurance is something that i would have to get to years from now and then i don't even know what living is so yeah i would say that um you know it, it, i don't know if it's well deserved but i just want to say uh, congratulations, congratulations, Brendan Fraser. I'm glad that, you know, we just had that interview with Shelly Duvall and, and it's, it's kind of like this time of all these old people, you know, older actors that had all this success, but nobody like gave them real recognition. And now they're kind of being recognized for being great and talented actors as well. And so I'm glad this is happening. I'm glad Brendan Fraser um, has won this award. And, you know, um, in the same sense, there's the uh, the kid from uh, uh, Temple of Doom uh, from Indiana Jones. I mean, uh, what's his name? He, he who Khan or whatever. You know, same thing. You know, same thing with him. He, uh, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember what it is for sure. Uh, Dr. Jones. Uh, round round eye or whatever is what they call him right in the uh, yeah in the uh, temple doom yeah yeah for sure for sure but but yeah anyway so this was um, like I said I'm just happy I'm happy that these actors are are finally getting the recognition that they deserve and they need so um, no you're hearing this what are your thoughts yeah short round that's it Um, you you have the you, yeah, yeah, he who Kwan. That's it. Thank you. He, you had the chance Kwan. to have you had the chance a to see any of these films on the list. No. And B, what are your thoughts on you know Brendan Fraser winning this award? And you know how do you know Brendan Fraser? What 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 Brendan Fraser movies did you grow up on? Um, bro. Well, I liked Journey. Journey the to Journey the Center movies. of the Earth. Yeah, oh, the gross. <laughs> huh. That's I crazy. Liked when I was kid, I mean, the Mummy was great too. But George of the Jungle is probably my favorite. Low key, when I was a kid, Ooh. definitely my favorite. You know, look out for that tree. Yeah, for sure. That's a classic. Um, I just i i i have I've seen the trailer for the whale, and I, I've I've been meaning to go see it. Of all the ones, same on that list, I I think it's probably the only one that I will make time to go see. Man, if you um, haven't seen Hustle, it's on Netflix. Man, I will, check oh, it I out, dude. That. I will probably. It's a watch basketball that. movie, like and it's like Sam true thing. story type shit based off real stuff. Like you, you will love that movie. You will call me immediately would, when it's over, and you'll I be like, "Damn, bro! Like, damn! Right. Like they." <laughs> These fools out here making academy level movies and nobody even knew it. For sure. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, it's just, and I think that the thing with, I mean, Brendan Fraser, Adam Sandler, Shel- I mean, all of these people, like, I, I don't want to say like wash ups, but like Hollywood has a, a way of like, if you're not young and hot and, and committed to a certain. It's the old, what have you mindset, done for me lately? Yeah, exactly. Then you're, you get kind of pushed out to the side and. And the people who are the really talented actors, they end up doing things that even if they end up being underappreciated, which think, thankfully people are coming more and more aware of these people, which hopefully, you know, leads to massive success for Forest Hills. Obviously, shout out Shelley Duvall. But like 
all of these people who were in a sense pushed out of Hollywood or left Hollywood, they decide to come back and do something, you know, worthwhile. And obviously it's paying off for Brendan Fraser and good for him because like he deserves it. Like he was always an incredible actor. I always like, I, you know, as silly as Journey to the Center of the Earth was, it was like, oh man, you know, like that guy's a bat, that guy's cool. Yeah, yeah you know? he is. He was, bro. He was also like good looking and like fit. Like he was, you know, he, the rock has really ruined us for what like the image of like badass I mean, but he I do looks love like. Him, though. But, and he also did that movie right, right after. Right. Right. He did the sequel without Brendan Fraser. But, but Brendan Fraser is nothing compared to The Rock. But, man, he was in great... He was, like, a good... In I mean, good yeah. shape for a dude I mean, in Hollywood at the for time. For sure. I like, mean, he was, definitely he was, handsome. He looks like, Tom, he was, like young Tom Cruise almost when he's... Yeah, he was buffer, man. He yeah. Was, yeah. He looked great, man. Yeah. He looked like sure. he deserved that role. Just... Yeah. And, and that may, and it makes sense why they cast The Rock next, you know, because they he right. still brought that physical presence, you know? Right. But, but yeah, I was never been a fan. Have you ever seen the movie Monkey Bone? No. Oh man, you got to see Monkey Bone. Go check out the trailer for it if you haven't seen it. But but yeah, guys, if you guys are hearing this news. Brendan Fraser, best actor for The Well. Have you seen The Well? Is this deserving? You let me know. Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Hey.